Okay. After whales are complete, the nature of your stock will often change. Look at the nature change. You see? It's almost like there are two separate market days. Day one is the formation of the whale. Day two is post-whale formation. Now, this is crazy how consistently this happens, but I'm constantly on the mentorship mentorees that once whale is complete, you've got to lock things in. And there's nothing wrong with trying to ride. There are times when whales become other whales, right? So here's whale one. And here's whale two. You can get multiple whales on certain days. Nothing wrong with trying that. But if it's your last lot, don't lose the whale. If you have two lots and you're going to sell one here, okay, then you can lose the whale on the one. But if it's your last one, don't lose the whale. All right? Um, but not bad, not bad. Traders are developing, improving. Guys, what you see in Jonathan's actions here is you see method. You understand? Like you can tell that these actions are not off the cuff. They're not random. They are repeatable actions based on a plan. Enter, stop, profit take, even the ad, although it's a little late, profit take, wait for the pullback, add, add, right? Uh, profit take, oh, wait a minute, let's do it. Let's do the whole thing again. Add, enter, stop, profit take, add, profit take, stop adjustment, boom. Wait for the pullback, add, add, all right? Profit take, stop adjustment on the remainder, pivot, all right? What I would have liked to have seen is, uh, well, no, here's profit take, stop adjustment to the big bar, what I've liked to have seen is on the remainder, stop adjustment, stop adjustment, stop adjustment, stop adjustment, out. Boom. That's the perfect trade. Whoo! That's a piece of art. Right? That's a work of art right there. Now, Jonathan, in this case, would make more than the trader who bought and sold, believe it or not. So the trader who buys three and sells three makes way less than Jonathan, all right? Because Jonathan buys three, takes, takes, puts it back on here, and takes takes, takes. So instead of pulling out, let's say, oh, I don't know, what is that? Instead of pulling out 80 to cent, so instead of putting out 90 cents, let's say, as an example, I'm not quite sure that's what it is, but let's say instead of pulling out 90 cents in the trade, all right, this could be like a dollar 25 in the trade or more, just because of these moves. It's the selling here and the getting in lower and the selling here that turns this into something that is more than that. A little extra piece there. All right? So Jose is saying, Oliver, um, 
what wouldn't I have gotten out after the bear 180? All right, does anybody else have that question? What about the bear 180 up there? What about this? Anybody have a curiosity regarding that? All right, I'll, I'm gonna address that now. All right, well, I'm gonna answer the question with a question. Is freak out of my trade every time I see a bear 180, is that a line item in your trading plan? Do you have that written down? Every time there's a bear 180, I exit my trade. Is that a rule in your trading plan? Then if it's not a rule, what are you asking me that for? The idea here, the goal here is to stop doing things in the moment because that's fear. I don't want you placing trades based on fear or based on your erratic, er, your erratic thinking at the moment. Oh my God, a bear 180. You see, how can you become consistent when you're reactionary like that? So what is actually your Jonathan's plan? Jonathan's plan is this, enter, stop, all right? Profit take, move stop to break even. That's a line item on his plan, in his plan. Now, listen to me carefully, traders. Whatever the stock does from here to there is meaningless. You can, it can do backflips. It can jump up and down. It can go backwards, it can go forward, it can pop up, it can pop down. It can lay down and go to sleep. Doesn't matter. As long as this line is not violated, you let it do what it's gonna do. Now, I want you to think about, whoa, guys, I want you to think about the maturity that it takes to watch every two minutes. Two minutes is an eternity for some of you. Two minutes to watch your PL just disappear. And then another two minutes disappear. Then it goes up a little bit. <gasps> Maybe it's going to go back up. And then it, boom more of your profits disappear. Think about what you're going through. Boom, more disappears. Like it takes deep maturity to go through that and not be shaken, to hold your ground, to stick to your plan. This is the type of maturity that I need you more of you to have. Jonathan mentioned that he is most proud of this because this is what I focus on. He's most proud of the fact that he was able to sit through that pullback, not freak out, not let his thinking overtake him to stick to the plan. All right. And we're, at the end of the day, we are whale hunters, traders. That's all we are. We are whale hunters. All right? Now, um, yeah. Living, uh, James says, living through the pullback is a great feeling when it works. Yeah, but... You have to try to make it a great feeling when it doesn't work. If you have held your ground, boom, then you should feel, you should try to get yourself to feel good about that. And you're going to collect all the ones that do this, guys. You're going to collect them. Which ones that you had good gains and you sat through the pullback only to break out, stop, break even? Collect them all of them, and then study them. 
And then your next level of growth comes from these. Do you know why? Because you're going to study all your stop outs that had good gains. You're going to put them all in a row and study them. And I promise you, you're going to find one or two things that have happened more often than others that's going to give you the sign or greater knowledge of knowing when this happens, I'm going to stop out most of the time. So now it's time for a new rule to rule out these. Boom! That extra experiential knowledge takes your trading plan to the next level. But it has to come from your own experience. It can't be theoretical from this point. All right? So, guys, good trade. So I'm glad we had an opportunity to cover Jonathan's trade with all of you.